Ladies and gentlemen, dear students, welcome to the Enlight kickoff. I would have liked to talk to you all live, but due to circumstances we are all familiar with, things will have to be done digitally for the time being. Ghent is a city of collaboration, a city where we deal with the many challenges we face together. A city that likes to lead the way and is not afraid to make choices. I'm convinced that cities can make a difference. It's here that we come up with concrete solutions for these challenges and implement them in a relatively short period of time. Especially in a city like Ghent, where Ghent University and many other knowledge institutions support us in our policy and where we have many committed residents who are willing to put in some work. Cities can serve as a testing ground for innovation, where we try out new concepts, learn from them and use that experience to try again. So, we aren't problem solvers, but active solution seekers. I don't need to tell you that one of the biggest challenges we are facing globally is climate change. The last seven years were the seven warmest ever recorded on our planet. The sense of urgency should be very high. But what do we see at each climate summit? A lot of discussions, questioning facts that have been proved scientifically hundreds of times and the lack of political courage, which often results in a disappointing compromise that isn't strong enough to really tackle the issue. But we shouldn't let that discourage us. On the contrary, it should empower us to take action ourselves. After all, cities can set a good example. Back in 2009, so 13 years ago, our city expressed the ambition to reduce CO2 emissions by 20% by 2020, which made us a global pioneer. We have achieved that goal. Our current ambition is to reduce CO2 emissions by 40% by 2030 and to be completely carbon neutral by 2050. But having ambitions alone isn't enough. We actually need to do something and not be afraid to make decisions. And that's what we do as a city. We rolled out a circulation plan that removed cars from the city center. We are creating parks and planting forests, removing pavement where possible and making our houses more energy efficient at fast pace. This happens in collaboration with our residents and our companies because we, as local authorities, are very close to the people. Ghent is also a pioneer in circular economy, for example, by producing methanol from collected CO2. Has it already paid off? I hear you thinking. Yes, it has. We aren't there yet, but we are definitely on the right track. Our circulation plan has improved the air quality and more people are now cycling or using public transport. Our Energiecentrale, which helps people and companies in Ghent in making their home or building more energy efficient, has provided for 30 million euro in investments in five years, accounting for a CO2 emission reduction of 5,800 tons every year. Our port is working on a far-reaching energy and climate transition. One of the biggest players, Volvo Cars Ghent, will make its production completely carbon neutral this year. Our plan to move towards 100% renewable energy will ensure that by 2030, half of Ghent's energy demand will come from renewable energy that is sourced locally. This year, 17,000 solar panels will be installed in the port, which will cover 2,000 families' energy consumption. Yet, we are still facing major challenges. Ghent is a city with a lot of old houses that are often occupied by people who don't always have the means to make their home more energy efficient. That is something we are working on, with energy coaches, interest-free loans and accessible information. We also want to get rid of gas. Our biggest challenge for the future is probably fossil-free heating. In new neighborhoods, it is fairly easy to achieve. But in older neighborhoods, it's a lot more difficult. That's why we are going to investigate in two neighborhoods how an entire neighborhood can cook, do their laundry and heat their homes on only renewable energy. 
One of those neighborhoods is Meulestede, and we are counting on your visions and ideas for that part of the city. There's more than 50 of you from different European universities. You will study this case and take the knowledge acquired to other cities. You will provide insights from the most diverse backgrounds, multidisciplinarity. Ghent is an open-minded city that will use all the knowledge available to help our city and society move forward. I see it as a win-win situation. It benefits Ghent and the people of Ghent, but students and knowledge institutions also get the perfect opportunity to conduct socially relevant research and implement the results into practice immediately. We are therefore very happy about the learning model on climate neutral cities, in which you will investigate how we can make Ghent a climate neutral city and in which Meulestede will be your case. You'll come to Ghent between the 4th and the 8th of April and we're looking forward to welcome you here. You will not only be speaking to our administration, but also to residents in order to be informed of their needs and come up with solutions together. What you are doing is very relevant. You know, it's in densely populated cities like Ghent where the first consequences of climate change will be felt. The temperature in the city is already 2 to 3 degrees higher on warm days than in the countryside. But I'm also convinced that we can best tackle that challenge in cities like Ghent by working together, involving residents and entrepreneurs, by starting pilot projects and in the end, by daring to make policy decisions. Not doing anything is no longer an option. Changing the world starts with yourself. It starts locally in cities like Ghent. Think global, act local. It's from here that we will set a good example, inspire others and consequently change the standards. Good luck with this challenge. I'm already looking forward to the results. And I can promise you, we will work with those results.